Oh, Jack Del Rio. Jack Del Rio. Yes, Jack Del Rio. Fans, welcome to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs. Welcome all of you maniacs out there. If you're enjoying this channel, and I know you are, you know what you have to do. You have to subscribe. Please. Trying to get to 3,000 subscribers. I need more coffee, man. Hmm. There you go, subscribers. Caffeine helps everything. Folks, listen. Jack Del Rio. He was asking about Cody Barton because guess what? Cody Barton, he is not Cole Hookham at all. Uh, minus the fact that he does not have a mullet, which really disappoints me. But the, the thing is, is that Cody Barton was supposed to be the complete replacement Cole Holcomb, you know, put up the same numbers, uh, same skill set, same body type, everything, right? And he has been anything but Cole Holcomb. Holcomb, to me, was a workhorse linebacker for us. Uh, he was a very high-quality linebacker, in my opinion. You know, he's not going to be a guy that's going to make the Pro Bowl, um, you know, that imaginary football game that we have um, at the end of the year. But, you know, he was going to be one of those blue-collar guys that goes out there and does his job. And I think that it was a huge mistake to get rid of Cole Holcomb. Um, I think you should have kept him personally, but we did. And because of that, there continues to be downgrades in the linebacker position. You know, Jamie Davis, you know, sometimes he's Jamie and sometimes he's not. I mean, you know, trying to be funny, I'm trying not. The thing is, is that he hasn't really been a, a first rounder, in my opinion. Um, you know, he's probably played more like a second rounder or third rounder than he has a first rounder. Uh, so, honestly, the whole... Um, the, the whole crazy thing, you have two coaches on your team that were all-star linebackers in their day, and they can't solidify that position on the team. Um, so Cody Barton, I think that we need to just put Cleek Hudson in, see what he can do. Um, you know, Barton, to me, I think he's lost out there. But then you ask Jack, Jack Del Rio. Jack Del Rio thinks, oh, you know, he he's just, he continues to, he works really hard. He prepares really hard. And you can work really hard and prepare really hard. But if you're not the man for the job, you're just not the man for the job. Um, And I think there's a little bit of, you know, just not willing to accept that you made the wrong decision. And that is very dangerous when you realize as a coaching staff, you're not willing to accept your mistakes. You're not willing to mix things up a bit <clears throat> because, let me tell you, defense is not performing up to the standards that should be performing. We all know that. We can see that. Now let's see what happens on Sunday. But, you know, a coaching staff who's unwilling to make major changes to save the season is a coaching staff that knows that they're not going to be here next year. That is really just the ins and outs of, of all of it. And, folks, I mean, we know that. Uh, I think this coaching staff knows that. So we got to be, honestly, we got to be prepared for that. And I know we're only, what, six games, five or six games into the season. We still got 
another 10, 11 games left to go. It's a long season. But, I mean, the simple fact is that another loss, you're pretty much sunk, honestly, because you're heading into two weeks that you should have two teams that you should soundly beat. And honestly, you should have soundly beat Chicago, and they hung 40 on you. So there is no confidence that you can win this game because Atlanta is a hungry team. They're a very hungry team. There's no confidence that you can beat the Giants, and the Giants are in such turmoil right now. Daniel Jones, you know, he's battling an injury. He's probably not going to play this week. Who knows if he's going to be ready for our game. So, and then you've got the Eagles uh, coming back. So, I mean, folks, it could be lights out for this team in the next three weeks. It really could. Now, you're not going to see any coach fired during the season. Uh, th that's just not how Josh Harris is going to work. But guarantee there's going to be some major changes. Now, hopefully, we're going to get on this win streak and then, you know, come closer to December, we are all high and talking about how great, you know, this turnaround's been and how we can still make the playoffs. And then we're probably going to be, you know, so bitterly disappointed toward the end of the season. And maybe I'm talking about in terms of last season. But the case is, this comes back down to the defense, Jack Del Rio. I'm seeing signs that, you know, he's not going to make major changes or he's not going to make the right changes. You know, he's already starting to, you know, he's benching Emmanuel Forbes. Was that the right decision? Guys, let me know in the comments. Let me know, let me know your thoughts about Cody Barton. Let me know your thoughts about benching Emmanuel Forbes. Maybe he, instead of benching Emmanuel Forbes, you give him some help. Um, but, yeah, I guess we're all kind of done with his coaching staff. All right, folks, that is it. I will see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already to the Washington Football Maniacs, make sure you do subscribe. For those who have and been supporting this channel, um, i got channel memberships. Feel free to support this channel. It's only like, I believe, $2.99. Um, I plan on making some members-only videos. Um, and as well, we'll have members-only chats. Um, just whatever that we can do to bring better quality to you folks, uh, to bring the content that you want. Let us know, too, what we can bring to you. Because that is what we want is to entertain you folks, bring you what you need, and keep you coming back to us. And that being said, we will see you in the next one.